All right, so you rolling? Yeah. Are we live? We're live. This is Memorex. Okay. Yeah, remember, oh, that's, oh, so you boy. gotta be old enough to know that. Is, yeah. my, is my hat good? Is my hat good? Yeah. <laughs> It helps me play better. Feel better. Does this camera make my calves look bigger? Meet some great people. Meet some great people. This is fun. This is fun. Now this, this right here, this is fun. This is Hack to Jack. This is Hack to Jack. Hack to Jack. This is Hack to Jack. Welcome back. So this is the moment we've all been waiting for. After months of auditions, lessons, practicing, and preparing, it all comes down to the finale. For this, we take you back to Deer Run Golf Club, where Team Chromax starts off the day at the top of the leaderboard after having accumulated the most points from the daily points tracking. But the other teams aren't far behind, and they'll have their chance to catch up with skills challenges on the driving range, practice green, and finally, a nine-hole team scramble with some hack-to-jack twist thrown. Let's see how it plays out and which five teams will advance to the sudden death playoff. Brothers don't shake hands. Brothers got a hug. Brothers got a hug. Hey, Hildy, what's up? Bro? Hey, what's going on, buddy? What's going on, Jack? Uh, we're just going to win this thing. We're going to go out, we're going to play our game, have some fun, and, uh, and come out on top. What's about to happen today is Team Bridgestone is going to take over. That's what's going to happen today. You're making a good run at, at first best look, you guys. Yeah. I'm telling you. Who would have to be? About me. You? Yeah. I'll be you the stick, maybe. This is the technological caddy. I am his caddy. That's why I dress the way I dress. As long as he reads the greens, I'll fix his phone. I'm sharing right now. Get everyone watching live. So hopefully they see me uh, birdies and pars the whole day through. All this technical stuff. It's crazy. Um, I got a helper, an assistant, which is nice. Uh, basically, he's like a little minion for me. Just set him on task as I was doing something. All right, welcome everyone. We're at our first skills challenge here today. So the first one is pop the balloon. So behind me, we have balloons lined up. Go teams are going to start off. Uh, they get five points per balloon hit. They get ten attempts. Hit the ball, make it go through the air, break the break the balloon. Come on, man, it's not that hard. Well, right now we've got the contestants are doing the putting with the convertible. Five points per putt. You go to three different stations, different various locations, different breaks. Then we come over here and we're doing the blast uh, putting stroke. Uh, we're looking for consistency on the putting stroke, and uh, that's all worth points as well. The, the tempo there was sublime, is what he was saying, and that the natural innate rhythm in my body is just so in tune that it produces just a perfect rhythm, and I was award, awarded maximum points for that. Yes, point one, maximum points for Team Wolf. Someone's been doing their homework. I told you, practice. It paid off. It's in. Were you trying to punch it? Hey, I was meant to do that shot. I'm going for a 20 yard shot right here. I get, I get five attempts. Nice. Uh, my wife just put one in, nice. so we got one so far. You know, this will be corny, but it, it has been a blast here, actually. I mean, the guys really get into it. The putting contest was really fun. I couldn't believe how consistent uh, the players were over there. I worked uh, quite a bit with the, with the blast motion sensor in my living room, and uh, uh, sucker does work, and I got a $100 gift card to prove it. I think we lost a little ground in the, uh, in the morning competitions, but we're ready to fire back and take it to the course. What's fun to see is, uh, really how Hack to Jack has taken kind of a multi-pronged approach. Right? You've got the instruction uh, with Brian and I, and then you've got the fitness assessments and the nutrition and the chiropractic care. Can you bless my clubs for me quickly? <laughs> I'm not an official uh, chaplain, but um, we can say a prayer together. All right. So I get to be used one time on this hole. They can use me on the tee shot, the chip, the putt. Tim, 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 Tim,
gonna break a, a little bit to the right, believe it or not. What a nice putt. Get yep. there, baby. Right. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Hey! Oh, yeah! Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bridgestone coming through again. All right, we're out here at beautiful Deer Run. We're on the third hole. Team Scott Golf just birdied number two to tie for first in the nine hole match here. So we're, we're, we're gonna roam around. We're gonna check in with the players. We've already seen a couple of crazy good birdies. Let's go off and see what's happening next. We're playing the par game over here. Par is not gonna win this thing. We gotta, we gotta step it up, bud. We're, we're through five and it looks like we're even par, but the low team is only two under right now, so I expected uh, expected somebody to go a little deeper than that, but apparently not. So they're leaving the, they're leaving the door open is what's happening. Door's open. All we gotta do is walk through it, man. We're gonna do it right now. Let's Come do go. it. Let's see it. it. There it is. Going the hall. You put, it, you put a tight pin for us. We get a chance to use one of his shots. Yep. And he just put it right tight to the pin for us. So. We're all set. It's heavy right. golf. Thank you. <laughs> We're use Brian on this putt. Hopefully, uh, hopefully one of us makes this 60 foot bomb. If not, got a couple opportunities with Brian. Oh, look at this thing! Get in! Get in! Oh! Yeah, we needed that so bad. That's what's popping. Oh, just moved in the lead. All right. So that's that. what's popping. I think we punched our ticket for the final five. Team, team Scott. They put a little. They put the. They put the spurs to us on this one. Kind of humbling. It's kind of humbling, but we we we're one we shot ahead of us. We showed a little resiliency. We're, we're hanging right in there, one shot ahead. But still, we are talking a lot of game. All right, we're here on the ninth tee. Team Nike just birdied number eight to go to one under. So they're one back right behind Scott Goff and Team Wilson number one, which is Josh and John. They got one more hole to make a birdie and have a chance to pull out first place. There it is. Oh, look at that. Yes. Good putt. Good putt. Beautiful. John, too. That was fantastic. Yeah, awesome. You was awesome. so much fun. Oh, hey, you're in there, too. We just made a birdie. Go to four. To go to four under. We know Wilson just went to three under, so. Oops, sorry, Scott. Taylor Made is at two under, so I think we're comfortable with our position. We're in the final, which is all we were trying to do, get there. So everyone's moving forward. This is gonna make for an exciting shootout on the last couple of holes. Second swing. Under 25, you guys are locked in for sure. So if you miss, you guys are already in. Uh-oh. Plus, uh -oh. and I get in for sure. And I can't take control agendas, but. <laughs> She's a loose cannon. <laughs> there was a little collusion, but it was all within the written rules of the game. Um, you know, Ryan just happened to pull his putt, or it was a misread, I don't know, but it almost solidified me and Casey getting in the finale. So, I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Maybe it's because he wanted me in the finale to help take down those clowns over there that are Scott Golf. So, that last putt seemed like you weren't really focused. Dude, I, I, I pulled it, she pushed Someone it. Someone paid us. That's the way she goes. Someone paid us to miss that shot, so you guys know. I guess we'll see. There might be a little teamwork on uh, the knockout round now, too. But in the end, if you actually end up beating them, they might regret that. True, but I think everybody's going to be happy as long as Scott Golf doesn't win. So it's basically all against them. Um, we've tried to have you give us your pick already, and you refused. Are you still refusing? I am tight-lipped. I have my thought. Put it this way, the one I had picked uh, originally is in the top five now for the elimination round. So uh, uh, if I was in betting in Vegas, I'm still in it. All right, welcome everybody. We just finished. Now we start the five hole playoff. So these are the five teams that finished. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start on the first hole. We're here on number 12. Here's how it's going to work, guys. Off the tee, like normal. You're going to hit your drive or whatever ball you think is going to get you out there. After that, your second shot needs to be taken with the fling stick. All right. After your second swing with the fling stick, then you can play the ball in. But here's how the elimination holes work. The team with the highest score is eliminated. Go, go, go. We're here on the first green. So Team Wilson is in with par. We got Team Taylor made in trouble. They're over off to the right of the green. This is for the birdie chip. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Ah, get it! Yeah! Oh, yeah! yeah! All right, we just got through the first hole. Team TaylorMade got eliminated. They used their mulligan on the putt, but still just quite missed it. So Team TaylorMade's out, but we still have four strong teams in it. All right, guys, here's the way it's gonna work. We're on the 13th tee box here at Deer Run. We're up at the red tee, but guess what? Your first tee shot's gotta come with the PSP Club. Yeah. That's Got the adrenal pump, but it was a little longer than I'd hoped. The loft is huge. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's right. Tim Wilson. We're here on the second elimination hole. All teams parred when they took the PSP off the tee, they hit the green, and everybody two putted. So, to get rid of one team, we're doing a chip off. The team that's the farthest away after everybody goes is done for the season. The team's got golf and has to get their chip up inside that tee where they're out. Well, we uh, eliminated another team. Scott Golf lost in the chip off, so there's three of us left. It's starting to get real exciting. All right, we've gotten through two holes. First hole, Team TaylorMade gone. Second hole, Team Scott Golf gone. Now, we're down to Team Second Sport, Team Nike, and Team Wilson. So, guys, here's what's gonna play out on this hole. So here we're on the beautiful 15th at Deer Run. We've got about a 375 yard hole. Here's the catch on this hole. From the tee to the green, you can only use one club. You decide which one you're gonna play. Once you get onto the green, you can put it out, but we're gonna see which team can play best with only one stick. <laughs> just had our third team eliminated. It was a close match. They had a one club hole where they had to play all the way to the green. We ended up with two pars and a bogey. So team second swing says goodbye. And now we're down to two. So team Nike and team Wilson, here's your challenge for this hole. It's only a short hole because we're gonna play it from about 250 yards. But here's the catch. You get two shots and you guys decide which player hits those two shots. It can be the same person hitting two or it could be one person each hitting the ball. All right, we're here with Team Nike. We're on the 17th tee box. Guys, it's just down to you and Team Wilson. So as you just heard, you get two shots off the tee. Have you decided who's gonna hit the shots off the tee? I think because it's a reachable par four, I'm gonna take both shots, and that way uh, Casey can pull me up by the green. You get two shots off the tee. What have you decided to do? Well, we're a team, yeah. so we're each gonna take a shot. Because we, we came here together as a team, we're gonna finish it out. Right? That's right, brother. That's, That's right. right. All right, if you look behind us, hole number 17 out here at Deer Run, we're playing from the yardage that's only 250 out, but they have to go over water and get there if they're gonna to try to knock it on the green and one. Team Wilson off the tee is hit it in the bunker. Team Nike is up close to the French with a little advantage. So let's see how Team Wilson gets out of the beach. All right, it comes down to this. They both have short putts for birdie. They also both have mulligans in their pockets. So let's see what Team Wilson does and to see what counters from Nike, who's a little bit farther out. Get in the hole! Get in! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! All right, we're on the 18th green. They both have birdie putts. If one makes and one misses, we have a winner. But they both have mulligans still in their pocket. So let's see what happens. Oh, yo, yo, yo! Oh my God!
All right, if Josh makes this putt, then it forces Team Nike to take their mulligan to try to match for the birdie. Team Wilson just narrowly missed two birdie putts. It's down to Team Nike going for taking their mulligan. If he makes the putt, they win Pack to Jack season two. Break! Oh! <laughs> All right, we're here on the 18th green. They both narrowly missed birdie putts. So it comes down to this. We have a long putt. Whoever gets closest to the hole wins season two Pack to Jack. You know, last hole, sudden death here. We've got Team Nike with their backs to the hole. Uh, Team Wilson's going first. They'll putt. Once both uh, players have finished, we'll put a mark at their closest uh, ball. And uh, so Team Nike will definitely know what they need to be. This should be really, really good. what just happened. It came down to 18. Both teams barely missed birdie putts to go for par. So we go for a putting playoff. Both about a 75 foot putt. The putts too close to determine. So second putting playoff. It came down to Team Nike versus Team Wilson. out on top. So meet season two Hack to Jack finalist winners Casey and Mike. What are you guys thinking? I'm excited man. I, uh, I didn't think we had too much of a shot but we both played really really well today. Um, I made some really big mistakes and she was always there to pick me up so it was a good ham and egg. All right so these two just won a $2,500 prize package thanks to our sponsors for Hack to Jack. Well there you have it. Team Nike is officially the winner of Hack to Jack season two. And in an inspirational gesture after the match, Team Nike actually shared the grand prize winnings with Team Wilson. That right there showed us that the contestants really did get what Pack Jack is all about. It's been an amazing ride, and the good news is we're just getting started. On behalf of all of us here at Hack to Jack, we would like to thank you, the fans, and all our great sponsors, especially TaylorMade, Nike, Callaway, Wilson Staff, Second Swing, Scott Golf and Bridgestone. And to our two instructors, Brian and Tim, you guys are true professionals. None of this could have happened without our sponsors, instructors, and you the fans. As this season ends, you might ask, what's next? Well, we were so inspired by the results, the friendships, the fun, and the response from you the fans, who helped us top more than four million views to date, that we're working hard to bring Hack to Jack to cities all across the United States, and hopefully the world. After everything we've been through, we think we've uncovered the secret to growing the game. It's really as simple as growing the golfer, one at a time, one city at a time, and creating local communities of fun people who just love getting together and playing golf. That is what Hack to Jack is all about. For updates on when we will be coming to your area, please go to hacktojack.com, register your email, and also be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Who knows? Hopefully it won't be too long before you're able to say, I am Hack to Jack. I am. I am. I am. I am Hack to Jack. I am. I am Hack to Jack. 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 Hack to Jack. I am Hack to Jack. I am Hack to Jack. I am Hack to Jack. Boom. <laughs>